So here's the whole thing. You either want to cut any process in half or you want to eliminate a whole process altogether. So today we're doing color. I'm going to need to wash his hair. Well, I know that if I'm going to put color in that the client's hair needs to be clean of any type of grease or oil. So I'm going to cut his hair down, wash his hair so his hair is clean, then apply the color. Now the reason why that saves me time is because I would need to wash his hair anyway and after I wash his hair I would also have to make the top smooth and finish and touch up all edges. I'm going to be able to touch everything up in one step because I've already cut his hair down, it's already clean, the color is already applied. So when I'm detailing, I'm doing a detail and finish on the haircut. So let's go. Now, before we go to the shampoo bowl and wash his hair, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to remove any hair that we don't need. We don't want to do a whole lot of cutting once we come back. So I'm going to set up for the taper in this area. Right? Or you can go like this. But be mindful, if you go this way, you're leaving a very strong line of demarcation. If your clippers are not calibrated properly, you're gonna have problems taking out that line. So, underhand stroke going up, and start the taper there. So what we're gonna do now is the Pro Color Enhancement. And the Pro Color Enhancement is a natural, undetectable way of enhancing someone's hairline. So right now the hair is clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply a little less than half of this color. You don't need a lot of color to give that enhancement. Try not to saturate the client's hair with a lot of color. Just make sure that the client's hair is clean before you apply. Use the brush and just basically cover the edge of the brush. And we're making an outline on the outer edge of the client's head. Now the reason why we use this color as opposed to any other is because this color has a tendency to stain. So look. I just put this color on my hand and if you count 10 seconds and I wipe it off, it leaves that light silhouette. It leaves that light tint which is all we need for an enhancement. So we don't need to oversaturate the client's head with color when we know that this would do the job. So it shouldn't look like paint is what I'm saying. So as we put a little bit, we brush it off. So ultimately, all you're keeping from the enhancement or from the color is that light silhouette that's left behind. Whatever you do to one side, do to the other side. Notice I'm not doing the client's outline before I apply the color because most times when you're doing an enhancement after the, the outline, you need to go back with the clipper and touch the outline once again. With this process, we're going to 
do the outline one time. That way it doesn't irritate the client's skin and we don't take twice the time trying to do the same one thing. Now, now we know that our color enhancement is in there. It's not very easy to be detected, but it's there. Now, the second part of the color enhancement is to take away that shine that you may see. Because if we can see that shine, it gives that unnatural look to the client's hairline. So we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to mask that shine with another enhancement. And what we're going to do is we're going to use holding spray. Now the reason why you should use an aerosol can versus a manual one pump spritz is because the aerosol can gives an even layer of product over the area. So pay attention to this card. The spray is going to be evenly dispersed across this entire surface. And this holding spray is unlike spritz because of two reasons. If you see here, it says 48 hour ultra strong sheer set. Now, a lot of spritz comes with the, uh, the ability to hold but it doesn't give the ability to repel moisture or any type of water, sweat. If you notice, the entire card is covered in one spray. Keep your hand the same distance away from the subject and hold it down and move your hand across the surface of the, of the subject. So that's the reason why we use holding spray rather than a manual pump spritz. Which means when we apply the next step in our pro color enhancement, we can guarantee that it's gonna last at least two days on the client. So we take our comb, and after we apply the first step in the enhancement, we comb through the hair. And the reason why we comb through the hair is because we want to stretch all the hairs out in the direction that it needs to be before lining. So we're going to comb the hair out and then we're going to take a business card or anything that protects the client's skin and we're going to put a light mist of the holding spray over our first color. And then we're going to use the second part of our pro color enhancement, which is we're not trying to use the fibers to create a line. We're using the fibers to give a more dense look to the hair and also to cover that shine that our first color left behind because the shine is going to make it look unnatural. Here's the shine right here. If I use the fibers over the shine, it makes that area look more dull or more natural. Now, like I said, you're not using the fibers to create a line. You're using the fibers to take away that shine and give the hair a more natural look while making it look more dense or creating more coverage.